What's up, Toosters? And two bets. Y'all know it's your boy Stitch, man, and I'm back with another video, man. And me and Poncho is on the way to pick up the rear end for the 73 convertible. The one we call Crocodile Dundee. So they gave us a call, say it was ready, so we are on the way. And y'all know, <laughs> I got one of the most handsomest Mexican it is in America. No, no moose today. Yeah, no moose. So we finna slide and get this rear end, man. They, we had it shortened three inches on each side. 410 posi, 411 posi, posi gears as well. So we're gonna get it back to the shop, get this thing prepped and clean so we can get it painted, get it up under the car, and get the tires mounted this week. Hopefully beginning of next week, we can have the wheels sitting on with minor trimming. It shouldn't be an issue. Nothing we haven't been through before, I shall say. So we're pulling up over here at CPR Performance, man, down here in um, Columbia, South Carolina, man. And they pretty much do all our shorten, shorten rear ends and also order the axles and posies and new bearings and all in it as well. <laughs> So we're going to get over here, man, and see what my guys got to say. Tell me about this rear end. Run it. Yeah, that's what they say, no parking. Okay. Anybody home? Oh, they got a nice rear end there. Let's go up front and see what they got going on. They also do dyno too. So if you need to get your car dyno, man, swing on over here to these guys. Yeah, definitely, man. Hey, you can see you can come in and get your cams. We got some Brian Tooley cam, stage three. Um, Howard's cam, we used those before. Comp cam, Val Springs. Man, they have a number of products you can come in. They keep it in stock, so. All right, Puncho. So you see where they done chopped it off? Rewelded it back. So we're going to get this thing back clinked up, get it sprayed up. She should be going under the car in a little bit. The, the for, the for the brakes, yeah. Yeah, they mount on. First time I ever seen this, it's in the gasket. That may have been a mistake. Hmm. came in the, the bearing kit. Yeah. Never seen that before, but one on, I didn't even look to see if they were different. That's the one yeah, we, we got, got the new Rich McGill or that 80 90 Goyle. And this is what, that's that additive, right? Yep. And those are the the bolts that were right here, they may or may not work for your new brackets, but yeah. that, that's what was on the old one. Okay. Sweet. Let's get this in first. One or two. All right, so we loaded up. We finna head back to the shop, man. They got me covered. What this one for? Different customer. See, I sometimes got the little spacer. Some of y'all are familiar with all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, to, to shim it out and stuff like that. Yeah. They got the wheel woods on it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Appreciate you, Charlie. I'll be back before you know it. Hey, man, just like that, man. Piece of cake, piece of pie. Piece of cake, piece of pie. And then my boy Cho, we back out of here. We're gonna pull around to the back, let him clean this sucker. We're gonna paint it fresh black. It's gonna get ready to get up under this car here in a little bit. Play around. Oh. Okay, okay. All right. 
All right, so we about to get it up out of here. Don't pull it by the axle. Pull it by the bracket. Ooh, look at that 300. About to get this thing unloaded here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man, we'll get this thing clinked up, man. Pressure wash it, hit it with the wire wheel. All right, man, we need to find the wire wheel. Start getting this thing prepped. Clinked up, we'll put an old cover over so don't know debris and stuff like that get inside it while we're cleaning it. And we'll rock it from there, man. Stay round for it.